So this blue knob here is the end of the valve. The valve is called a micro valve. So this system, as I said before, is micro combo. That's a combo valve at the top, micro valve down the bottom. The micro valve, what it does is by adjusting that valve, is it enables the flow of grit to enter into this pusher line, air line arrangement and into your blast hose. So if, how do I know how much grit's coming out of there, whether it's the right amount or not? You've got to remember that you can actually flood the blast hose with grit if you open that valve too much. So therefore you impede the blast, you're wasting grit, and you're not achieving the profile that you're looking for. So less is more in this case. So what I normally do is, with that valve, I'll wind it in until it stops. So I can wind it all the way until it stops, so that means that the piston in that valve hits the seat. And then what I'll do is I'll wind it back three and a half to four turns. That gives me an indication of somewhere where I need to be in the realms of how much grit flows through. So how do I check then if I've got the right amount of grit? How do I know? You'll notice that when you screw that valve all the way in, push the safety pin in and depress the dead man handle, there's a screaming noise. The screaming noise indicates to the fact there's only air coming through here, so the scream originates from where the venturi of the nozzle starts, and the scream as it exits is just basically the air, the amount of air coming out. So once you start introducing grit into that airflow, the scream diminishes. So you'll notice that with the valve wound all the way in, and you open the dead man, it'll scream. However, if you let, release the dead man, and wind this counterclockwise three and a half to four turns, depress the pin, open the dead man, the grit will start to slow, slowly come out of the end of the nozzle. Now, when the grit comes out, you'll notice that when you depress the safety pin and open the dead man with all your appropriate safety gear on, whilst you're blasting, you'll see that the media starts to exit from the end of the nozzle and starts cutting whatever it is you're looking to remove from the substrate. So how do I facilitate the appropriate metering of that valve? To be quite honest with you, the easiest way to do it is, if I've wound it out three and a half to four turns, bring the nozzle back to the blast pot. Open, depress the safety pin, depress the dead man handle, and watch the grit hold it up to the light, and watch the grit exiting with the airstream. Ultimately, what you'll find is that you'll have like a mantle shape come from the end of the, the blast nozzle, and if you hold it to the light appropriately, you'll see that it's slightly blue in, it's got a blue tinge to it, it's blue colour. That is absolutely spot on to the amount of grit you need. So what happens is if I have too much grit, that mantle diminishes with the amount of abrasive that exits the nozzle. And if I have less grit or not enough grit, you'll find that there is no mantle and the nozzle just screams. So in between those two parameters of no mantle and scream, there is a little blue shape that um, is quite easily defined in the appropriate light to see that that's there. So just off scream and just under flooding is the right amount of grit. To make that easier for you again to understand is that if I open that valve too far, you'll find that the noise of the nozzle is softened so it becomes dull and deadened. That that again is an indication you've got too much grit. Also too, you'll find that it tends to flood the surface. So it, it pays never to open that valve all the way up. Primarily if you're opening that valve, there's something wrong somewhere in the system. You must have excessive moisture. Nine times out of 10, you'll find that it's because there is no aftercall or air prep in the line to remove, remove excessive moisture. So moisture contributes to the amount you have to open this valve to appropriate the amount of grit to flow through there. Moisture tends to coagulate the abrasive and stops its free flow back into that valve. So all we're looking for here is free flow of grit or abrasive into this valve. Don't open the valve too far and you'll always have the appropriate facilitation of grit in relation to the amount of air you have coming out of the end of the nozzle.